Hey, it's Mad V Frayed. So you can probably tell I've got the worst chemo acne right now. Um, apparently it means the chemo is working, um, which is really good. And then I spoke to my doctor about it and he's like, yeah, it's proof that you're still young. And I was like, oh, great. So when I was about 16, I had like horrible acne for a year, but then it just went away and I've had like the best skin ever since. Then I turned 30, it was about 2020 when the pandemic started and my skin just started. I got adult acne suddenly and it's kind of been like, ugh, for a little while. And that was partly why I was on the pill. But to be honest, now that I think about it, I wonder if it's because the cancer started growing. Anyway, um, because of this great side effect, I thought I'd show you what's in my cancer stuff bag. So I just got a little makeup bag from when I went traveling. And this is everything that's in it. First, when you go to the chemist, they're going to give you one of these. It's called a Cassidy Techo. And it's like a little um, log book for all your meds. So every time you get prescribed something new, they're gonna, <laughs> the pharmacist is going to check it and make sure none of it reacts. So I've got a whole bunch of meds, which I'm going to show you. And, you know, I feel like it just keeps increasing. It's only been a few weeks since I started chemo, but I've already added three new drugs. So first, um, here I have mouthwash. So it's mouthwash that's supposed to help with like weird taste and um, mouth sores. There's a lot of it. I haven't used any of it yet because I've, I've kind of got like weird taste, but it doesn't, it, like so far it's been okay. So you get all of your meds in a little bag like this. Um, it shows the dosage, what it's called, how many of them there are. It's got your name on it. <laughs> during chemo, um, both diarrhea and constipation are possible. Um, and like I haven't had constipation yet so far, but I've also been kind of on a semi-vegan diet. I decided to cut out dairy, but, you know, I eat fish, cooked fish and like meat now and then if I feel like it. Um, but yeah, definitely no dairy. Um, so... They also gave me um, this. The bag is like all ratchety. But this is called B Mia BM. And it's he's like, okay, so you take it when you have diarrhea, but also when you don't have diarrhea, like three times a day after your meals. And then he's like, oh, it's a probiotic. So I take this every day, three times a day. And yeah, okay, so all the pills look kind of similar. They're, they're little white round pills in a kind of purpley looking blister packet. So it's hot. You got to, I keep them in their bag so I don't get mixed up. Now, when you do actually get diarrhea, there's another med that you need to take. So, yeah, this is the little bag. In Japan, it's called Doperamido, but it's actually just Imodium. But yeah, again, purple blister packet. And, oh, this one looks slightly different. So. <laughs> Fever and pain. I have had both of these, like joint pain, just kind of like general headaches as well. Um, I've had a fever, like last weekend I was out the whole weekend. Um, and they gave me Kanonaru, and it is acetaminophen. Um, so that shouldn't react with anything. But yeah, again, purple blister packet and a little white pill. This one's 300 milligrams, so it's a little bit, I guess, weak. But yeah, you're only supposed to take take this like three times a day with meals. I don't know if I should switch it up to taking two at a time, because I feel like one at a time didn't really work. Um, okay, next. Um, I haven't actually experienced nausea yet, which is really good, but they give you anti-nausea meds. This one's called Don Headed Don. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, here we go. It's pretty cute. It's a little white pill, but this time in an aqua blister packet. Uh, and this one, yeah, I haven't had to take it, but my doctor says like, yeah, you'll probably get nausea, 
but you won't throw up. And I was like, oh, great. Like, so I just get the feeling that I need to, but I won't actually have to, whatever. Um, lots of people get a rash when they're on chemo, so rash or itching. And this is what they give you for it. Now, it's only seven days worth, and you're meant to just take it once a day before you go to sleep. Um, again, I'm running out. But purple blister packet and little white pill. So this one I started taking because originally I thought my chemo acne was chemo rash, which it probably is, I don't know. And then my head started to feel itchy. Acne, it was, it was ridiculous. It was so bad. The worst I've ever had. It was so inflamed. It was painful to touch. Like when I'd wash my face, it would just start bleeding. Um, so I just decided to go to a dermatologist near my house. And luckily I didn't need a booking. And then, you know, they asked me what meds I was on. I was like, so I got the cancer and I'm on all of these things. And they prescribed me um, antibiotics. So here we go. I take it twice a day for seven days um, after breakfast and dinner. And it's called Ludindo. It's a little white pill in a purple blister packet, but the back is blue. So that's good. Almost through with that. But for my skin, they gave me a topical kind of gel. And it's called Zebiax. Now, I once went to the dermatologist in Japan for my acne because you can't get raw Accutane here. Or actually you can, but it's really expensive. And they gave me this. It's an anti oop. <laughs> It's an antifungal gel, and I think it's helping. Um, it seems like it's subsiding somewhat, but my dermatologist said, take the antibiotics and come back in a week and just like, you know, put this on at night um, after my skin routine, just once a day. Anyway, so yesterday from my chemo checkup, I talked to my doctor about what side effects I had. And then I said, you know, my, can I get more rash medicine? Because my head's kind of itchy. And he's like, oh, yeah, that happens to a lot of people. So it means your hair's going to start falling out. And I was like, great. <laughs> anyway, he prescribed me this ointment to put on my head. It's called Linderon VG Lotion. Um, anyway, so I just kind of put it on when it feels itchy, whenever I feel like it. I have two little tubes of it. Um, but yeah, so far, haven't had to use it yet. It might also be because now I just wash my hair every day because I used to do it once every couple of days when I have hair. <laughs> but now I'm like, oh, well, it's short, but as well just wash it every day. And if I'm wearing a wig for work as well, it just feels like I should wash it. Um, but yeah, my hair should start falling out soon. Stay tuned for that. I also got some ice gloves. One of my cancer friends that I met on Instagram, actually, well, we haven't met, but um, she wrote this amazing, um, you know, chemo manual or pre-chemo manual, and her name's Danielle Boyce. I'm going to give you a link to this chemo manual in the description. Um, she also wrote one for a mastectomy, which hopefully I don't have to get. Um, but anyway, she suggested to get like ice gloves, which I did buy. I kind of used the ice gloves for like five minutes in yesterday's chemo session, but they got too cold and like it has fridge smell. So I didn't want to like bother the people around me. Um, so I don't know if I'll continue using them. I should, I probably should. So I don't get like neuropathy and numbness and tingling. Those are all of the chemo meds I'm on at the moment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more cancer things. Bye.